Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always check what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below for the month of June. As usual, I have a special sales offer available. And for this month, it's called Two Sides, One Story. And it's a reading that basically looks upon the type of um, light and shadow um, attribute, archetype, how is it being played out in a current situation of interest or relationship and how is that going to positively or more negatively kind of affect you in this balance between those two polarities. So if you'd like to know more details about that special offer or any other of my services, again, just email me or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So Sagittarius, it feels like you're very strong on your mind during this time. You're very focused on, you know, what for you is the right thing to do, what for you is the right path to pursue. So you're very straight and clear about the things you want. It feels that though, the more certain um, you get about certain things, also the more upset or upsetting um, situations might arise with this. Because not everyone around you or not everything you're associated with will fall you know in conformity with you and the things you believe are the things that are true and the things that are right and the things that basically entails your whole philosophy of life your whole philosophy philosophy of life versus uh how others choose to live them and how the world at large has you know various um ways of functioning might get on your nerves during june you might feel less tolerant or less accepting of what is not to you truth of what is not to you respect you're very um, committed to a path of truth, to a path of success, to a path of honor and pride. And everything that puts that in question, everything that puts that at risk, you're very defensive about this. You're very defensive about your causes in June. So your, your argumentative power is very high your communication skills are sharp and also you can't be that fooled during this time so if you have uh, questions in mind if you're you know right or wrong about something if something is real or a lie um, you will get uh, to know what is versus what isn't very soon. You have the page of swords in your soul position. You have a lot of questions and you have a lot of things to say and you have a lot of things to point out, perhaps sometimes not in the best way. So uh, the page of swords sometimes can make us, you know, be excessively um, critical of others and of, of things. It can be nagging, we can be, you know, constantly you know upset with 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 things that we uh don't like coming from others coming from the world around us so you could really be in a moment where there's a lot of things that have the power to um affect you affect you mentally affect you in a way like you can't shut up about it like you need to point out that this is wrong or this is right or this should be done in another way so you're very keen on pointing flaws 
or in pointing what you believe needs to be pointed to bring upon improvement because the majority of you Sagittarius are looking for that you're looking for improvement you're looking for uh, you're looking for things to be just true and right I keep getting like true and right you're very uh, you're very you're in a moment where you might be very um, hard with yourself and with others some of you Sagittarius might be in a phase where discussions can get really heated and um, bitter difficult when you're discussing things with people again that don't see things the same way you do use the power you know uh, you have with wisdom it's better not to preach or impose your views on anyone by imposing or preaching you're taking them more away from you and i'm saying this because i feel like for some of you you might be trying to impose your views on your children or on your loved one your partner there's someone here that is as upset as you with a lack of um, acceptance with differences or just different approaches to what right thing is to what commitment is to what success is so you are very serious here about the fact that when you say something you mean it and it, it, when it, when questioned about this when questioned about the validity of your uh, word or action or doing you might snap or get so defensive about this with the Queen of Swords as you move into July that it can be difficult to find a little bit more of harmony to find harmony and sweetness and gentleness in your associations during this time so the challenge is also ego and pride just because someone doesn't agree with you doesn't mean that they don't look up to you or admire you that you're not seen as someone you know that they respect some of you are looking for again this valid validation from others that you're a wise figure that you're filled with the hierophant vibe that you have the right answers that you should be listened to that you know what you're saying that you mean what you say that you know something by true by experience you know you want to be taken seriously and you might just need you know whomever you wish or whatever you wish that takes you seriously you need to allow that to happen by your example only just do you just be you just you know your energy will speak for itself your experience will speak for itself your energy will speak for itself you don't need to constantly say but I'm right but I know to be right and to know when we have this constant need to affirm that I know and uh, I am and all of this we are trying to uh demand that something outside of us actually tell us tell us uh, what we're really insecure about because you might exaggerate your insecurities by trying to come across as being so certain or to know so many things and in reality have your insecurities about it which is natural so you need someone to say that you're right or to do anything that you wish them to do to feel like secure about you know who you are take it easy 
is the best approach and use words wisely. There might be, again, a temptation here to use words in a way that can cut. So you can say things or you can hear things that are unpleasant. That can be a little bit, at times, unpleasant um, words being exchanged. You want to be extra cautious with that. You also, if you're dealing with an air sign, in particular during June, a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra person figure that is where this kind of friction is felt, where this situation um, is presented. The way to win this argument or get your point to really be understood is by just allowing them to get there themselves. You know, it's like, don't do anything beyond what you already do have done or will do. It's like, do it once and then it's up to them. It's up to them to, you know, learn. It's up to them to agree. It's up to them to make their own assumptions of whatever this is. If they don't assume things the same way you do or as fast as you do, let it be to avoid hurt feelings and avoid a wall of defenses to be built between you and another, where in reality you don't want this wall of defense to be built. So it feels you're dealing also with someone that has a lot of an argumentative power. So there can be interesting and stimulating debates also occurring for some of you Sagittarius during this time. So there can be a lot of good things coming with this energy where there might be very stimulating debates, very interesting debates. But a debate is only healthy when we're willing to really listen with curiosity to, other, um, to another person's mind with a curious approach, with an open approach. If we only want to speak to listen to ourselves and not to listen to the various, you know, different philosophies and perceptions of the world, you know, that's not constructive, that's not what debates are formed for. So when you go into debate, when you move into the, any type of debate, when you're willing to commit to this energy of debating something with someone, make sure that you're listening as well to the other side so i hope you have a great month thank you so much for all of you that have been liking sharing subscribing commenting and donating to my channel i really appreciate it thank you so much hopefully we'll see each other soon